Hello everyone, here's a question from exercise 12.1, chapter is ration proportion of class 6. The question is, out of 1800 students in a school, 750 opted basketball, 800 opted cricket and remaining opted table tennis. If a student can opt only one game, find the ratio of, we have a three questions here. So before we solve this, let us find out the answer, like, let us find out the number of students who opted for table tennis because we have just given that remaining students opted. So how many are remaining? So here they have given total students, so total are 1800. Yeah. In this, out of this 1800, basketball, the students who opted for basketball is 750 and the students who opted for cricket is 800. So let's add them. So this will become 1550. So this many students are like both opted basketball and cricket. Then how to find out the remaining students, remaining students who opted for table tennis. So out of this total, which is 1800, we're going to subtract this number 1550 who opted basketball and cricket. So when you subtract it, we'll get 250. So 250 students opted for table tennis. So now we got the whole data using this. We're going to find out the answer for this three question. So first, Basketball is 750 students opted, for cricket 800 students opted, for table tennis 250 students opted and for total students here are 1800. Everything is given in the question, only thing is we have to find out how many students opted for the table, ten table tennis and that we are going to get by subtracting it. Now let's start with the first question. In the first question, number of students who opted basketball. So first is basketball to the number of students who opted ten table tennis. So basketball it is 750 is 2 and uh, table tennis is 250. Here I am not writing down the statement. You can write down the statement in your exams or in your notebooks. Here I am directly solving the question. Now this ratio is not in reduced form. So we have to reduce it by cancelling or dividing with the number or the common factor. So I'm going to cancel the zeros. I hope you all know how to cancel it. So when you're canceling it, you have to divide this number with same number. Like 75, 25 both go in 5 table. I'm going to cancel this in 5 table. 5, 5 is at 25 and 5, 15 is at 75. So we got 15 by 5. We can cancel this further. 5, 1 is at 5, 3 is at. Now we got 3 by 1. We cannot cancel this further. So the ratio will become 3 is to 1. So this is the answer for the first question. Now second one. In second one they are saying number of students who opted cricket. So cricket is 800 is to number of students who opted basketball which is 750. So convert this into fraction 800 divided by 750. Cancel the zeros. We got here 80 and 75. Both again goes in 5 table. 5 15 is 75. 5 16 is 80. So this is 16 by 15. We cannot cancel this further. So the ratio will become 16 is to 15. This is second question. Now let's go to the last one, third question. In third one, it's a number of students who opted basketball. So basketball, it is 750. So 750 is to total number of students which is 1800 yes so convert this into a fraction so 750 divided by 1800 so cancel the zeros so we're left with 75 by 180 now cancel this in 5 table because the number ends with 5 and 0 so we can cancel this in 5 table 5 15 is a and here 5 3 is a 15 and 6 is a so, so 36 will get 15 by 36 so 15 by 36 we can again cancel in this in three table because 15 also go 36 also go 15 uh, we can cancel by threes are three fives are 15 and three twelves are 36 so you got five by 12 we cannot cancel this further so the ratio will become five is to 12 that's it so I hope this question is clear. In case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.